and welcome to Miami, Florida. And we are in for an unbelievable evening of SmackDown action. This Miami crowd is all fired up. They can't wait for the show to start, and neither can I. That makes two of us, and I know the entire SmackDown locker room feels the same way, so what are we waiting for? I'll never understand how Jeff Hardy can leave the house looking like that. I don't know. I think the Jeff Hardy hairstyle is exactly what you might need to update your image a little. You would never catch me wearing my hair that long. It's just unmanly. Uh. That was a textbook reversal. Uh. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? I don't think the fans like that one too much. I'm uh. sure that breaks his heart. It should. These fans are the lifeblood of WWE, and he doesn't give a damn what they think. This capacity crowd is making their opinions known tonight. Yeah, the WWE fans aren't known for keeping their opinions. He's going up, and what goes up must come down. You know, there's such a thing as playing to the crowd too much, and that's what I'm seeing here. I disagree. He's wrestled this match his way all along. And here's a little something for the fans. That's why they love him. Who cares what they think? All he's doing here is giving his opponent a chance to recover. <laughs> Instead of pandering to the fans, you should really keep your head in the match. Come on, you're looking at a superstar who can feed off a crowd and use that energy to win the match. He slipped out of that one. And this one's turned into a fight, pure and simple. We knew it was going to be intense. We knew it was going to be physical. But I don't think anyone was prepared for this. I got to admit, it took me by surprise, and that doesn't happen often. That's an understatement. You've been in hundreds of matches in your career. We both called hundreds more. We usually have a pretty good idea of what to expect, but not this time. I guess it just goes to show you anything can happen here in the He could get the pin right One, here. Two. Nice reversal. This superstar is all fired up. And so is this capacity crowd. Yeah, well, one mistake and we're going to see break. that fire put out pronto. One. I've been looking forward to this match all night. So have I. It's certainly been one of the most anticipated matchups in recent weeks. And usually when you got that kind of hop, it's tough to live up the expectation, but these superstars aren't having any trouble doing that. They sure aren't. And that's an impressive thing in and of itself. <clears throat> These superstars are at the top of their game, but only one of them is going to have his hand raised at the end of this one. And that's a real shame because, like you said, this has been a great match so far. So what? You want to say that everybody wins so that nobody gets their feelings hurt? I never said that. I'm just saying that in a great match like, come on, ref, that should have been a disqualification right there. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Bottom line is, it ain't. Edge is such a jerk. I'm amazed that he still has a job on Raw after some of the stuff he's pulled. Maybe Edge doesn't have the best attitude in the world. Look at this. Pandering to the crowd. Nothing wrong with keeping the paying customers happy while you build some momentum. Talk about superstars who don't have an ounce of quit between them. You're looking at them right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're... He's been looking for that all match. And now... Here's the pin. This could be it. That's not in the rule book. But it's not a crime oh. if you don't get caught. I don't believe it. How could the referee have missed that? He likes fighting dirty. And it's easy to see why. He's really good at it. He certainly is. And I hope he's proud of himself. Personally, I find it disgusting. Disgusting. 
I don't think anyone in this match has even considered that they might not walk out the winner. Of course not. That's the kind of attitude that gets you beat quicker than anything. And that's something I don't think people realize. The mental conditioning of the WWE superstars is just as impressive as the physical conditioning. Oh, I can't believe he just did that. That's so dirty. Well, it's like we used to say back in the day, rules are like bones. They're made to be broken. We're hearing the First Amendment in action here tonight. I'm all for freedom of expression, whether I agree with what they're saying or not. Seeing a match like this makes me proud to be part of this company. I'm with you, partner. You just can't experience a thrill like this anywhere else. And that's because you're not gonna see athletes like the WWE. What a cowardly move. He can't win fair and square, so he tries to screw his opponent out of the victory. Oh. Hey, nothing wrong with doing whatever it takes to win. If it was that bad, the ref would have disqualified him, right? Sometimes it seems like there's no risk too great for Jeff Hardy to take. That's because he's got more brains than sense. I doubt that. If he didn't know what he was doing, he'd never have lasted as long as he has in this business. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, and injured superstars like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, You've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. That's absolutely right. This business is as psychological as it is physical. You can't let your opponents think you're easy pickings. One, well, I wouldn't consider two, any of these superstars three. to be easy pickings, no matter how beaten up they get.